So if you have some infection, it got hurt and then it got infected and pus coming out and then the first layer of the skin it came up. So if they put that oil up, I Do you remember I, I got this infection? Can I say? Oje, I'm not Bolsi, I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going That would have been a helpful situation in which to use charcoal. 
আর ওইটা ছিল খুব ভালো একটা অবস্থা যেখানে পালা ব্যবহার করা যেত Okay, so let's talk about other things. I think some of your questions will get answered as we explain different treatments. So, I'm not going to say that I'm 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 going to Write these things down. I do want you to write in your treatment, your books about this as well. But these are more simple things. They're, they're short treatments. So, um, but take notes. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is poisoning. Yeah. So first, how do you tell if a person has been poisoned? He have a ball, but I don't manage manage to put it. I don't manage to get beast dog basically. No, no, no. How do you know? Maybe this is what I'm about to say. He have a goose bath, eh? Beast took it. Like, say you have a child who ate rat poisoning. So, my back to us is share. I'm not going to 
confusion. Having a seizure. Like a seizure at that point. Um, not being able to walk normal. Like, <laughs> like yeah, not, Seizures are right. 
কি জানো সিজার কি Um, 
Now, what if they had more? Like one tablespoon. Maybe add tablespoon, and then the bottle chamuch, or like three to four pills. Also, the thing take a chapter pinch of this type of other. Then you're going to give a lot more. You would give about three to four tablespoons of charcoal. If the Kali pet. And you would give anywhere from six to fifteen tablespoons if their stomach is full. You're saying. Now, what if you don't have any idea how much they ate? Then you'll give one to five tablespoons of Kali pet. This is mixed with a little bit of water. But then afterwards, what should you always do? Drink two glasses of water. See the same. Um, now, that's when they first when you first find them. That's when they first started. The first the first treatment. Um, you can give it again as often as you need to. And have them drink as much water you can get them to drink. What if they immediately vomit it? Give it again. If they vomit again, give it again. Like one every time they vomit, give them another big, big heaping tablespoon. What will happen is that for the first two, three times, they'll probably vomit it up again, maybe? But then probably after that, they'll start to keep it down. Realize it's actually good for people to vomit when they have something in them that's not good for them. Um, and then after that first treatment, you will give them another small spoon every hour for four hours. Then after four hours, then you'll give one every four hours. Um, until they poop black.
take a sip. And you can keep giving it until symptoms are gone. Like, maybe yep. by the time that they have a black stool, their symptoms are gone and better anyway. But maybe they'll still have symptoms, so keep giving it until symptoms are gone. Or let's say I have some big infection that's gotten really big and it's been there for a long time and 
It stinks. Like some people can suffer from that and they have a filth, they can't get away from the smell. What can you do for that? Um, charcoal can help reduce odor. So obviously it can help to cure the wound. But let's imagine you're putting other treatments on it. You're keeping a bandage on it. Every time you change that bandage, sprinkle the dry powder into the onto the wound. And then you can put the bandage back on. It will do wonderful things to make it not smell anymore. Also, it'll also help with bad breath. And it kind of misses for the charge. Some people have lots of trouble with that. If you swish charcoal around in your mouth, wash them afterwards. Tell you the truth, we it. Tell you the it's all washed. No, it takes the smell. It takes the things that are getting odor out of your mouth. Okay, that is enough things for the moment. Our time's up. Tomorrow we will talk about um, diabetes. And diarrhea and snake bites. And other things. Today we spent quite a bit of time helping you understand poisoning. Did that make sense to you today? Ask it that it was the This time. Thank you for the gift of charcoal. Charcoal is your father's birthday. I pray that you would teach us how to use it.